recently gone through a round of hiring. And so I wanted to show you what our process looked like. This will be a quick video. If you are in HR and you find this helpful, uh, share this video with someone else, leave a comment, let me know how you're managing this right now. But I figured I would show you just one of the options that's really helped us to take all of our candidates, review them and get them through the pipeline so we can get to that hiring stage. So here we just have a project. I have it in the board view right now. I'll show you the workflow behind the scenes. And so we have uh, this initial form, which is our job application form. And then we have an interactive case study form that we also put candidates through if they get to that stage, if we deem them to be qualified. And so I'm not going to show you that one today. I'm just going to show you what our um, job application process looks like. So when they submit, it goes to the new applicant section. It is assigned to me. And then we go through and we schedule that interview if I think they are um, suited. And so as you go through this, there are these different branches. When it goes to schedule interview, we're creating a, a subtask and we're using a variable. So it's pulling in the actual task name of the individual that has then submitted it. And so we go through the next stage, interview booked. I feel like it's a good fit. We want to move forward. We always ask everyone to sign an NDA. Uh, we're going to be providing some more information on the company, um, talking about um, company policies and procedures and sharing other info. Uh, and that goes both ways. So we want to make sure that we just have some protection there. So there's a subtask to create um, or send the NDA. If after they sign the NDA, we're feeling good, still, we'll move forward and put them through our playbook review. So what the playbook is, and we have a subtask for that as well, what the playbook is, is that at Surface, everything from our mission, our vision, our core values, our goals, our culture, what I expect as a uh, employer, what you can expect, how all the roles come together and work together. And then uh, it also explains more about how we operate as well as our partnerships, like the one at Asana. And so quite a bit of information there, but it just gives them better insight into what they can expect coming on to Surface and what really they're in for. And so we go through that. And then let me get out of here. Um, and then once we've done that, if we feel that they are a good fit, we send them a case study review. So just briefly, case study review is there's three options to choose from, one around content calendars, one around intake and requests, and one around reporting. And so we want them to go through one of these cases, um, think about a solution after seeing the problem, um, map something out in Miro, build something in Asana, and then present it as though they were presenting to one of our customers. Um, this is a paid um, use case, and so we want to make sure we're honoring people's time. But we really just want to see how they think, how they solve problems, and again, how they present. Because as a solutions engineer, you'll be in front of our customers presenting these solutions and working them through and then training people on the new solutions. And so those case study submissions come through here when they have completed that. And then if we're feeling good, we'll typically book another call talk about an offer, we send the offer, go through our negotiations, and then they're either hired or not. Um, and so if it's not a good fit, um, we typically know this early on, and so we can move them to not a good fit, complete the task. And then if it's not the right time to hire them, but they were promising, we'll keep them on file for later on. And so that's what the, the process looks like. So let's go through and actually submit that form. I've already got some info filled out here name, email, standard stuff, LinkedIn, uh, region. Uh, they find themselves in languages they can speak. We have a global team. And so we have um, Spanish speakers. We're looking for French speakers as well. But let's take a look at the branch that we're looking at here. So solutions engineers are active hiring role. What's your experience as a consultant? I'll just put lots. How old do you know Xana expert? Looking for full-time compensation salary. Let's say I want 100K. And then we have an option where they can go through and select different software that they're familiar with um, so that we know um, how we can how we can better resource them and utilize their skills. There's an option to um, put up their resume and cover letter. Any added info, why you're interested in working at Surface, love the vision, something like that. And then they can put references there, any other questions they have for us. And then we just ask them to consent so that we can process their information and an acknowledgement that everything that they uploaded here was true. So let's go and submit that. We'll go back into Asana and it will show here. It's assigned to me initially. Um, and then we will go through. So the variables that we use are 
the, the name of the person that's submitted and then the role that they're applying for so we can see it really easily. So I'll go through, kind of look at this here, check out their resume. Um, I'll go to their LinkedIn and see what kind of content they're putting out. Um, you know, kind of review some of their work experience and see how it lines up with what they've submitted here. Let me go through, schedule the interview. And then there's a subtask. And so we'll go through, schedule interview. Interviews booked, we're awaiting the next steps. And then we put them through the NDA. Again, another subtask. And then we keep on going, playbook review. They've signed the NDA through DocuSign, feeling good about it. Um, and then interactive case study. This is where we send them another email snippet that says, hey, we're going to add you to a project, review the case study options here, and then uh, in your own Asana or your Miro, go through and build out and present that solution. Submit a video through Loom so we can see how you, how you present and how you think. Those submissions then come to this section here, um, and then they're linked to, as a subtask, this original task here so then we go through we have the we, we like what we saw um, we give them some feedback maybe we meet again give them an offer as you can see we've got these four subtasks here that have been populated as we go through checking those off we go through negotiations of course that's always a thing i make sure we're covering benefits and salary expectations and then we feel good and we hire them and begin our onboarding now what we haven't done yet is when it gets to this stage we can take this convert this task to a template um, we have an onboarding template so we could take all this information everything submitted here would go into the overview section of that that new template and then we can start their onboarding and bring them on the team but i just wanted to show you a quick just behind the scenes of how we use asana this is one of the many ways we use asana every single day and so if you're looking for a solution to better manage recruiting hr take a look at this right use the workflow builder get in there um, and see how this works for your use case. But again, if you find this helpful or you find someone else would find this helpful, please share this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments. I love responding to your comments. So I'd love to take a look. But as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.